Hi guys, in this video I want to do something unrelated to Ignition uh, and just show you a tool that I think every person who works from home or who has a similar setup to me, um, I want to show you a tool that you can use. I know there are nerds out there among you who already knew of this tool. I of course also knew that the tool specifically uh, the KVM or a KVM. I knew that they existed. I just could never afford one until I looked on Amazon like a week ago and I saw, so what I searched for was KVM switch two monitors, two computers, because the situation I have, as probably many of you do, I have a work machine, which in my case, I have a laptop with a dock. And then I have my personal machine, but I have one set of monitors. So every time I want to use my personal machine, I need to unplug the um, keyboard mouse and my two monitors and my network cable and plug it in from my work machine into my personal machine. This one that I'm using to record. So it's very annoying. I have to get behind the desk and uh, unplug all of those. And most of the time, I don't want to be productive anyway. So there's just one more hurdle I have to jump through or jump over. So I finally pulled the plug. So I knew these existed, but they were always around 250 bucks. That's what I thought in my mind, but I haven't looked for one for a while. Uh, but I found this one. So I already have it open here in this tab and I purchased it and I'm using it right this second. And uh, it caught my eye just because it has five stars. I mean, only 11 ratings, but, and you have, it's 90 bucks or hundred bucks. And then there's a $30 coupon. So I think we paid like 80 bucks with tax. So it's not very expensive at all. And what it is, is basically it'll take your um, PC one, PC two inputs for your display. Uh, so for me, I have two monitors. So uh, this unit supports two monitors and then it'll take a USB 3.0. So that one single USB 3.0 will power um, the three, I'm pointing at the screen as if you can see it. So that one single USB 3.0, let me take a, oops, a screenshot of this. So just to show you what I'm talking about, you probably know this, but this, just in case uh, there might be confusion, this single port here will power three of these ports. So it's pretty simple to hook up and it's very handy. I love having this thing because um, I can switch between my work and my home computer just with the click of a button, which I'll show here what the button looks like. It's just a little knob and it actually, you actually have two ways you can do it. You can click on that, on this white switch uh, that you can see. I can't hover over, oh, there we go. So this switch here, you can click on that or there's a, an external, so this control port, there's like an audio jack, it almost looks like, uh, that plugs in there and then you have an external button. And for me, all the cables, um, as you'll see in this clip, they're all below the desk. It's pretty messy, uh, but the control button is above. So I can click it and then switch between my two outputs. Very simple to, hook this up. I'm actually kind of stupid. So <laughs> I reversed my USB cables from PC one and PC two. They were swapped. So it wasn't working properly. And I was getting mad until um, I decided, yeah, I noticed that when I would switch PCs, um, like the opposite keyboard would work or the light would turn on the keyboard. So I figured it out eventually. And now it works flawlessly the one day I've been using it. And I think it'll continue to work. I don't see why it would um, not work. So it's very simple to set up. It's a tool I would highly recommend. Um, and I'm vouching for this one just because I know I set it up and it works for me, but we'll see. Maybe I'll make an update in the future if it stops working. Again, uh, you, you would hook up your PC one and PC two. So for me, my work um, dock would be PC one. It doesn't actually matter which one you choose. And then you would hook up the other, your other computer to PC two, and then hook up your monitors to this HD out B and A. So this would go to your monitor. Um, and then these two HD and B and A that would go to your device. So one of them is plugged into my laptop dock. One of them is plugged into my PC tower. 
Yeah, and then it just works just like you would expect. You hit the button. Um, as you can see in this clip, it's a little touch button. I hit it and then it'll, it'll switch from my, from my work PC. Uh, and then a few seconds later, it'll switch back to my home PC, which is really nice. Um, yeah, and it makes it very easy to use. So let's see if there are any infographics. This is the exact one I bought. So, and it seems to have pretty good throughput. I mean, I don't have anything crazy plugged in here and it's also underneath my desk. So it's not super easy to get to. So if I need to plug in like a flash drive, I'll just plug it in directly into the device, either the dock or my tower. Um, but you do have five gigabits per second. So it's pretty standard nowadays. And it comes with, one thing I noticed, um, it's not necessarily a downside of this KVM, just any KVM in general, is that you'll have uh, four extra cables. Because if you have two cables originally, and then you just switch between the um, PC1 and PC2, you only have two. For this setup, you need six cables. So that's just another thing. And they're all HDMI, so be aware of that. I didn't look into it that deeply, and then I ended up going to Walmart and spending 60 bucks on a few HDMI cables. Um, so yeah, just be aware of that. So you'll go from two cables to six cables because you need your so you'll need, um, maybe this graphic here will work better. Nope. You'll need your two cables that go from this KVM switch to, uh, to your display. And then you'll need two to go to your PC one. For me is my work computer here. This is my home computer PC two. So you have six cables and all. So one downside is it does get pretty messy as you can see under my desk. Um, I tied it up as best as I can. And there's just a bunch of cables going everywhere. I don't know how to tidy it up any better. One thing I forgot to mention is what KVM stands for. I think it's kernel based virtual machine maybe. I don't know if that's actually what I'm looking for. Yeah, KVM is keyboard video and mouse. So I've used one before for in an IT setting to switch between different servers. But like I said, it was always pretty expensive and I've wanted one for a while. So hopefully this video is helpful uh, I know you guys probably already know devices like this exist, but I wanted to show you that it's pretty inexpensive. It's a uh, hundred dollars minus $30 plus tax, whatever that turns out to be. And then the cost of the cables and it works very well, at least in my case. So hopefully this will be helpful, uh, to someone out there. Uh, if you don't know that this type of device exists, um, and it'll speed up your process switch between home and work computers. I think it's a good thing to have those two separated uh, as your work policy probably dictates anyway. So hopefully this was helpful. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, just post a comment uh, under this video. Again, you'll find this in the description, this one. And you can also search what I searched for on Amazon and find other ones if you have more than two devices or if you just have one monitor. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, my next video will be ignition related, uh, and yeah, back to the regular programming after that. I will see you guys in the next video.